Let's talk about solar. Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my home. I live in my truck. I currently call Moncton my home, but I'll go wherever the tide takes me. Okay, so last night when I got off from work, my inverter started screaming at me, telling me that my battery was low. Now, I have a solar system, so obviously that shouldn't be a big deal, but it was overcast all day yesterday and the day before. So today, I'm gonna talk about my solar system. Now, there's two main parts to a solar system. There's collecting the energy and storing the energy. So you have your solar panel and your battery. You can't run a solar system without a solar panel and a battery. Otherwise, you're just collecting solar in the moment and there's no storage, so there's no way to be able to use it later. So what are your needs? What are your uh, solar demands? Or what are you going to be using it for? It all depends on what you're using. Before I ramble on about my solar setup, I thought I should talk a little bit about how solar actually works. Solar panels consist of photovoltaic or PV cells. In its simplest form, each cell consists of silicon ions that when hit by a photon of light, release an electron. That electron release results in electronic potential, which can then be harvested as electricity. As for my setup, I have a 250 watt solar panel hooked up to a 40 amp charge controller. My 40 amp charge controller is fed into a 12 volt battery, which in turn is connected to a 760 watt inverter, which powers my lights. Now, as for your personal needs for a solar setup, it's going to depend on what you're trying to run. With my system, I run my computer, charge my cameras, uh, charge my phone, so it really depends on what you're trying to. When I lived in the bus, this is all I had. This solar panel here, this 7 watt traveling solar panel was all I used. I put it in the window of my bus to charge my phone or charge the uh, little battery banks. When I moved into the truck, I had two of these large 18 watt panels that my boss gave me and this tiny charge controller. It didn't really do much. It uh, was too small to really charge my battery, which is then when I upgraded to this. Down, don't, don't bring me down. 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 And that's pretty much it. I used 10 gauge wire coming down from my solar panels to the charge controller, and I used 6 gauge wire going from the charge controller down to the battery. Of course, I've got a 12 volt load coming right off my charge controller, um, but most of my load is coming from my inverter, which I use all of my 120 volt AC uh, appliances. If you do have any questions or if you would like me to address any other uh, parts of my system or the truck, let me know in the comments below and thank you don't, for watching. Don't bring me down. Don't, don't bring me down. Don't, don't bring me down. Don't, don't bring me down.